In a quiet town of Hillcrest lived a boy named John. He was often made fun of by his classmates and facing hard time in studies. But one day, he discovered a distinct temple in the peaceful forest that only a few people knew about. As he walked into the temple, he felt a calmness all around him. The air felt like it had a lot of wise feelings in it. And in the middle of the temple was a wise person named Master Lee. He wore special clothes that showed he had been around for a long time, and he looked very peaceful and like he knew a lot. John, who was feeling very depressed and burdened by his problems, looked at Master Lee with uncertainty and hope. John, excuse me, Master, I'm struggling with my life and studies. Please help me. I request. Master Lee, a wise person who doesn't talk much, signaled for John to sit next to him. The temple made him feel safe and peaceful, like he was surrounded by quiet thoughts. John was able to figure out and let go of his worries and uncertainties. Master Lee, who cared about John, gently touched his shoulder to make him feel better. Master Lee said, learning is like a journey with obstacles, but those obstacles can actually help us become better. John understood the wise message without anyone saying it, and it made him feel better when he was feeling sad. To show what he wanted to tell, Master Lee grabbed a transparent jar with dirty water inside. Master Lee asked him what he can see inside the jar. John looked into the unclear liquid and replied, muddy water. Master Lee put the jar down and waited for the dirt to settle. This made the water become very clear and see-through. Master Lee compared mind with water. When the water is calm and still, it becomes clear. Before you start studying, Try to find that peaceful and quiet feeling inside of you. Tear fell from John's eyes and went down his cheek. John says that he feels confused and demotivated, doesn't know where to go or what to do. Master Lee guided John that while studying, ensure that you remain fully present. If your thoughts roam to past errors or future concerns, gently redirect your focus to the task at hand. Dedicate your complete attention to your studies each time. Also, embrace the process of absorbing knowledge rather than mere memorization. To demonstrate, Master Lee presented a sponge and a stone, pouring water over both. The sponge effectively absorbed the water while it effortlessly slid off the stone. The master conveyed the message that many students tend to memorize facts like the stone, allowing them to slip away over time. Instead, adopt the sponge's approach, absorb knowledge, understand it, and integrate it into yourself. Avoid mere memorization. Try to comprehend concepts, visualize them, and connect them to real-life scenarios. This way, what you learn will become a long-lasting part of your understanding, ensuring permanent retention. John further asked that he gets scared after looking at the thick books of the course. When he sits down to do one task, another one appears in front of him. When he starts the second one, a third one appears in front of him. Sometimes he gets so scared that he closes all the books and puts them away. Master Lee took him to the stairs of his temple and said, let's go to the top floor. John started walking fast, started climbing two stairs at a time, while climbing two stairs at a time. His foot slipped, due to which he got hurt, and he sat there. Master Lee explained, Be careful and climb straight, one by one. Soon both of them reached the top floor. Master Lee explained that by climbing the stairs one by one, just as we easily reach the top floor, in the same way, pay full attention to one subject when it is completed, pay full attention to the other one. In this way, you will not feel scared after looking at thick books, and the course will be completed. The work that needs to be done will take as much time as required. Similarly, just as if you got injured by climbing two stairs at once, you were forced to stop, which wasted your time. Studying all the books at the same time wastes time and also distracts you. Master Lee says when you have a large task to do, you can make them easier by step-by-step -step procedure. If something seems really hard to do, just focus on one small step at a time. 
instead of trying to do it all at once. Master Lee tells John that it takes time to succeed and it's important to enjoy the process. He should study little by little, take breaks, and let his understanding grow naturally. John had another tear on his cheek, but this time he also had a small smile. After this, Master Lee took John to his garden, where beautiful flowers were blooming and sweet fruits were growing. Master Lee told John that if we take care of nature, then, like this garden, nature will fill that land with beautiful flowers and fruits. Otherwise, nature fills that place with thorny bushes and forests. It is the rule of nature that something or the other will grow on fertile land. In the same way, we keep our minds active, keep filling them with the latest thoughts so that negative thoughts should not come. John felt better and more determined. With the help of Master Lee, he started a new and exciting learning adventure. The distinct temple became the life-changing place for John when there he was sad. But it also became an extraordinary place where his tears helped him become resilient and wise, like flowers that grow from seeds. Due to Master Lee's teachings, John transformed into a remarkably successful man. Today, he holds a high position in a prominent company. Grateful for the guidance, John visits Master Lee monthly, considering him his mentor and idol. When life gets tough, learning, patience, and taking care of ourselves can help. Just like tending to a garden, our minds and bodies need care. Sharing what we learn with others creates a positive impact, making life more fulfilling. It's about growing through challenges, being kind to ourselves, and helping others along the way.